If you've played ESO long enough, you're probably very familiar with something that most players refer to as 1VX. And with the patch for the scale with the scale breaker patch, 1VX, in my opinion, is most likely dead. It was all but dead pretty much in the last patch, especially because with the diminishing amount of players in open world Cyrodiil, you found yourself more than likely getting zerged down by 20, 30, 40, 50 people at a time. You'd take a resource and 30 people would show up. On a rare occasion, you'd come across a situation where you'd get a small amount of players, maybe three, four, or five players. I know Christopher was very popular with his top five PvP builds. Most of those take place on console. Very rare you see players in 1VX situations on PC, uh, at least on PCNA, because it's literally a Zerg Fest nonstop. The population on PC is literally, at least on PCNA, as well, but dead, um, especially um, open world Cyrodiil in no CP. Uh, it's it's literally all but dead with the current meta and with the current changes to the current meta especially to for example things like this um, the way of knowledge while your stamina is below 50% your light attacks cause the enemy to take 8% additional damage this is not 8% additional damage to the light attack it is 8% overall a lot of these abilities and a lot of these percent increases are pretty much outside of the normal uh, minor vulnerability, major vulnerability, etc. And you'll see that, for example, um, like in the Phoenix set, there's a lot of free damage going around with the changes. As you can see here, when your health drops below 25%, uh, it says you gain a damage shield that absorbs 25,000 and deal 8,000 damage. This, th these are sets and changes that are for the super, super casual. Which is why the burst meta has all been dead with the changes to, for example, like cast time on ultimates, like Dawnbreaker, um, like, for example, the two-handed alt for people who are maybe slow on CC breaking. All that sub subsequently serves to do is give players who are a little slow on the trigger the ability to survive a little bit longer especially when you are a 1vx player and you need that quick burst to take up to take an opponent out because you're getting pressured by too much too many people that in essence is going away the new meta is the zergling meta in which people can place really cheap dots on you from 28 meters away and in essence do very similar burst damage that you would normally have to take from direct damage abilities, for example, things like that have cast time, like for example, Dizzy Swing. Dizzy Swing can be easily countered by walking through your opponent, uh, or just a simple quick tap of the block button, or a dodge roll mitigates all of the damage, especially because you can walk through your opponent in 1v1 or in xv1 situations, Dizzy Swing excels. In 1vx situations, Dizzy Swing does not. It's very hard to 1vx with dizzy swing unless you're fighting completely like noob players but with many of the changes coming for this patch with the dot meta with the increase in damage to things for example like uh, soul trap structured entropy for some reason gaining this ridiculously overinflated buff a lot of these abilities can be applied to you from a far away without any skill and without you even hearing them as many of them don't have uh either an animation attached to it for example like structured entropy has a an animation that you really don't notice um, it's something that is very difficult to pay attention to especially in 1vx scenarios it's really easy to apply the ability because one the animation is super fast and it, it applies almost instantly two it also has no sound to it it doesn't have a sound when you take the damage you, no one is typically used to having to roll dodge stupid abilities like that maybe um even things like uh, what is it fetch your flies is a little a little annoying to have to dodge roll um, especially in the face of how cheap these abilities are that can be applied to you from range that can that have damage that sticks to you i mean shoot and no cp a double fetcher has a tooltip of like 30k plus 
Structured Entropy is going to sit around 20, maybe 25k, depending upon the build. And the same thing with things like Soul Trap. But it's not just those changes. There were also new sets that were introduced into the game that are equally do very similar things that are designed to kill the solo player faster. A very good example of that set, for example, is um, the Zen's Red Dress. As you can see, your light attacks apply a touch of Zen's for 20 seconds, right? So when you someone light attacks you, it puts this, this little debuff on you and it says while you have this debuff on you, you take an additional 1% more for each damage over time ability that you have on you up to 5%, right? And of course, this can stack per person, right? So if you have one guy who's just literally sitting there lighting attack you, he light attacks you five times, now all of the dots that you have on you take for an additional 5%. But that's not the only one. Another one, for ex for example, is Azor's Blight Reaper. It's another example of when you deal damage with a damage over time effect, you apply a stack of Blight Seed for 5 seconds. At 20 stacks, it deals 11,000 disease damage to the target and nearby allies. That's 11,000 damage and 11,000 AoE damage over the course of how long this is a direct this is not a damage over time right this is a direct damage a proc that occurs when you have in essence four four procs because you gain where is it it says an enemy i said at 20 stacks you end up with this proc the stacks are it says when you deal damage with the damage over time you apply a stack so if you have if you're fighting multiple opponents and you have multiple dots on you, each tick applies stack. When you gain 20 stacks, you explode, in essence, for 11,000 in disease damage. And of course, that is on a two-second cooldown. So it blows up, two seconds later, you can take numerous ticks. Again, this is from any damage over time effect. So you, in essence, go double dot poison, structured entropy, um, soul trap, which are long duration abilities, they all can literally reproc this ability on cooldown every two seconds. Every two seconds, and it's an AOE damage over. It's an AOE burst that applies to you and anybody that's around you. Another ability, another set that's very like this is uh, what is that? That ice one that shoots out a projectile that has like some thirty thousand uh, damage over time ability. I forget what it is. It came out at last patch. But in essence, what you're what you're seeing is, and here's another one. Here's another good monster set, right? When you bash an enemy, you spew them with eight thousand disease damage over four seconds. It says this damage is increased. I think this is a mistype. I think it's fifty percent. I don't think it's five. It says this damage is increased by five percent for each negative effect on the enemy has up to 150% damage. Do you know how much this can theoretically take for? 20,000 damage, right? Because it's 8,000 as the base times 1.5, and then you have to add the base back to it, right? So it's a 20,000 dot that occurs every seven seconds. Of course, again, this is all part, and all the person has to do is bash you. As long as you have, as long as you have a damage, you know, damage over times, and this is the damage over time meta, all they have to do is bash you and they get this ridiculous damage over time. This this ticks two ticks because it's over four seconds. So it's literally two ticks. You're going to take 5,000 tick on the first tick and then another 5,000 after that. And it's disease damage. So it would be buffed by things in the CP tree. Or it could be buffed, for example, um, if you're a Nightblade wearing, if you're a Nightblade and you use um, Incap, right? Because it gains an additional 20%. The other problem is things like incap percent increases that are or any percent increase like from necromancer where all of these dots can tick between 20 and 30 percent i mean if you get hit by one tick if like for example if you get hit with an incap for the next three ticks of the dots you're going to take an additional 20 percent damage per dot the ironic thing is that classes like Nightblade are literally unaffected by these situations because dots do not affect 
Nightblades who utilize cloak. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a higher amount than than normal of Nightblades utilizing cloak and things, for example, like Troll King. Troll King will make its way back. I do not doubt Troll King will make its way back because the amount of damage over time that is coming into this patch is too high. It's entirely too high. It's especially entirely too high if you're a solo player or if you're a small scale player. It's literally forcing people who like to play solo because open world zero though is, is literally dominated by super casuals who don't CC break, don't heal themselves, don't protect themselves for the most part. And they're typically such easy kills that players moved over to grouping at the beginning of the game where people were overall a little less skilled uh, and they moved over into solo solo play because a lot of the more pvp oriented people left very early in the game and the game has steadily been going super super casual till we come to the patch that we have today which literally is in my opinion the death of pvp and the death of 1vx